A new security screening system unveiled at Harry Reid International Airport today, and it'll be put through months of testing with actual passengers. Our 8 News Now reporter Brian Will tested out that system firsthand, showing us what we can expect. The future of airport security screening is being tested right here in Las Vegas with this self-screening prototype. Good morning. What can I do with my phone? Does it need to go in the bag or can I have it with me? The phone has to go on the tray. Okay. You know, I have it on. Thank you. No problem. It's usually the worst part of traveling, going through security. Now the TSA is trying to make it more efficient and give passengers more autonomy through a new system they started to develop five years ago. It's called the self-service screening system. The system is designed to let passengers control the pace of their screenings. It's something travelers like Patricia Messerly and her son think could help cut security lines. You've gotten used to it now when you go to grocery stores and whatnot, you just help check out. So we're used to it. Passengers will approach one of the six stations and put their items on the belt. However, they'll notice something different. A typical checkpoint takes about 12 officers to man. This one only takes about five. While there's not a transportation security officer standing there, there's a screen with a help assist button. And so if you have a problem or have a question, you can press that button. You'll be directly connected to a remote live transportation security officer. This state of the art checkpoint aims to reduce secondary screenings like pat downs and to keep the lines moving. It's got automated screening lanes. It's got officers that are in remote locations. It's got some entry and exit doors on the advanced imaging technology. So it really is a new approach. Some questions remain, like how many passengers they can process in an hour, what the full cost of it will be, and what the future of the TSA workforce will look like. I assume it's going to reduce the amount of jobs for TSA workers, which hopefully means they're going to reinvest it into the airports. At Harry Reid, Brian Will, 8 News Now. Now, the new screening system will only be available to TSA pre-check passengers traveling through Terminal 3 at Harry Reid. A full rollout of a new screening system across the country wouldn't be announced until they see how this testing phase goes with real passengers here. Denise.